um, very good morning to one and all present here. Uh, I welcome you all for this uh, one day initial lecture on opportunities for an engineer and uh, the skills needed for uh, 2021. Um, Chief Guest is Mr. Yash Sriram Godam, Blue Yonder Company, Bangalore. He is uh, one of the prominent alumni. Uh, B tech degree in our campus only during the year of um, 2007 to 2011. Enthusiast persons for uh, organizing uh, events both in um, you know, co curricular activities. He is an active person during his study. Then, after that, uh, he did his master's, um, master in uh, IID Jammu. And now he is working uh, in Blue Yonder, Bangalore. So welcome, Shriram Godam. Thank you, sir. Uh, next, I'll hand over the session to Mr. Shriram Godam. Please take care. Thank you. Uh, so, uh, sir, can you see my pr presentation, sir? I can see. Yeah. So, hi, hi, all juniors. I'm pretty cold, despite being in June. Um, yeah, I would have loved to have this physical, uh, you know, in the in the seminar seminar halls, so that we can have a better interaction. But yeah, COVID has forced us to sit indoors. Even my office won't open for another two months. Uh, but yeah, we're working, you know, uh, 13 hours, 14 hours every day, uh, being in work from home. So let's start the session. Uh, I want you guys to 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 understand something, uh, you know, uh, initially. Uh, being an engineer is is something that is that is it is more than what we look uh, at the current scenario or what we think an IT uh, an engineer job is. It's, it's not just an IT job, but it's more than that, and it's a field with a lot of opportunities. and 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 the name of a professional studies would exactly match for a, an engineer. And I'm going to explore some of those niche areas which I believe would be of great value and interest to you guys uh, so people uh, let me ask you a question uh, to people here I believe you can all respond to me in audio uh, how many of you here actually have an interest to uh, go for core engineering jobs hello so most of us sir Okay, so uh, if if uh, I think it is Satya Pradeep, I believe, right? Yeah, Satya. So, uh, what 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 do you think about uh, the core job? Like, uh, which one do you prefer? Which field or something? Just just want to hear from you. Sir, I got interest on embedded okay. systems, so it would be better if I get placed into an electronic related um, mm -hmm. company, sir. Okay, okay, cool then, cool. Then. My initial slides are completely core only, so I think I can give you a better idea about what exactly is out there. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm happy that someone actually says he wants to go for a core company, yeah, which we never heard in our batch, despite being despite uh, people saying that it never happened. Yeah, sure. So, anyone else? I do want to place in a core company. Okay, okay, okay. So, what is your area of interest? So, VLSI. Acha, okay, VLSI. Okay, you you guys have uh, taken uh, two of the most, you know, uh, you know, embedded and VLSI is predominantly in old engineering. In fact, uh, despite it being in 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 huge use or a broad uh, perspective uh, in utility, but still they they evolving a lot. So, I'm going to talk about those things, and I'm going to tell you guys what generally you'll have to do in, to ensure that you're looking for those companies and stuff. Okay, so let's let's go for the presentation. Yeah, so yeah, that's me as uh, Professor told. Uh, 2011 pass out, uh, literally had a dream to do an MBA from day one in my engineering college. I never knew why I joined an engineering, but uh, the societal pressure made me join an engineering. Then I went on to do my MBA. Uh, but despite uh, despite uh, doing an MBA, my initial four and a half years was in TCS and Altimetric, predominantly in IT industry. That's where I understood uh, how good it is to be an engineer. Yeah, despite my uh, interest in business and management, 
so i i in that meantime i explored a lot of a lot of stuffs for my own uh, you know understanding uh, for my for my interests and um, yeah of course for anything related to it is always connected to electronics right so yeah i always had that interest and i'm going to show you some of those interests and uh, things of areas where things are actually coming up good for engineers so uh, guys uh, let me let me put it very blind very blatantly to you and and we're trying to be uh, you know molikobi molikobel here i'm i'm just going to tell you exactly on your face what exactly uh, it is to be a core engineer okay first of all uh, the interviews in in a, in a, in a, in a, in, a, in a core company are very tough to crack okay uh, the biggest thing you have to ensure that you need to have very good strong basics unless you've got the basics you cannot crack an interview in a core company and and people please understand uh, communication uh, interpersonal skills all those are more towards it but when it when it comes to core industry right all that matters is your expertise technical expertise so so very strong basics is what uh, you will be looking into you will have to go through the papers which uh, you know for example if you are looking into vlsi let's say uh, you will have to focus more on the theory you will have to do a lot in the lab apart from the labs you will have to use uh, you know uh, you have to you have to ensure that you practice those programs in in online free online uh, simulation softwares and stuff uh, in fact you have to be very creative when it comes to core engineering yeah uh, the second most important thing apart from uh, you know having a very open mind is to learn and unlearn uh, whatever is being taught to you uh, in any engineering college i would not i would not even leave iits out of it whichever engineering college you go for it whatever is taught you is basic and old whatever is being explained to you is something that creates created the fundamentals of whatever is happening out there in the world of electronics field so you will have to get that mind to understand whatever you have learnt is just the basic and at a point you will have to unlearn them and you have to learn something new and above all in this scenario in one year i hope the current situation of the job drought drought will come come to a conclusion and by one year uh, things would actually you know move on to a better area or a better situation so at that point of time uh, the most important thing you need is the passion to learn and to and to pursue something to your life's end that's very important uh, a few target companies i'll say for core again these are all big names uh, wipro broad lab broadcom texas i've given the slide but the truth is that the recruitment policy of theirs are very strict and they are very stringent in uh, selecting people despite going to nits and iits but the real thing is that despite uh, people coming from colleges beyond the brand okay beyond the brand we can still make it to these colleges when when we have the rigor the strong basics and the thirst to go towards them so please remember it and if you're going for the core engineering field if you want to have your life in it trust me it's so good but you need to do it so the next slide is yeah uh, yeah i think someone asked about, someone spoke about vlsi right yeah see the reason why i told vlsi is pretty old and that we're evolving is because soc has come okay soc is a, is nothing but vlsi which is pretty much shrunk into a very small device correct um in simple words it's it's a system on a chip simple soc so what it does is pretty much interesting uh, i do not know if you guys have actually looked into uh, uh, you know iot and stuff but people who are working in iot will know about soc because soc uh, becomes the baseline for iot uh, can anyone tell me why iot and soc are interrelated someone okay uh soc is predominantly as i told system on a chip right iot is internet of things now what is happening is that in, in huge industries in 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 uh, several uh, uh, companies and infra also they using these 
SOCs or devices like Raspberry. Raspberry is a very good uh, IoT device. An IoT device which is actually embedded to various products or machines, and the whole of the industry is controlled using IoT. So SOC is the basic for IoT. So without the proper SOC infra, IoT can't be achieved because IoT is just internet controlling all these controllers, which in turn control the machines. Because every machine is driven by a processor, again by a chip, a whole circuit board, and in indeed it's a semi-computer which runs it. So all these are all electronics, right? So all these are run by SOC over on top of, I mean, uh, where IoT is on top of it. So uh, my 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 uh, take on people who want to uh, know grow in VL VLSI, I want you guys to start looking into SOC. Uh, please please uh, start exploring what are the new things coming in VLSI, uh, and most importantly, coding. Irrespective of you because uh, you know belonging to electronic communication, you have to focus on coding. You should see what are the codings that are making VLSI a better option, and then. Uh, I've also shared uh, a link where you can actually try it, you know, uh, where you can go and uh, take uh, courses for SOC. Uh, it, it's a very good uh, company. Arm is one of the best companies in the world for processor. In fact, uh, they used to compete with uh, Intel uh, or, or any other company before, uh, even though they're top, uh, they're, they're the ones who have the chips inside your mobile phone. They are legendary and uh, they are the ones who, who get a lot of royalty in having the chips installed so this url link which i've given you here would be a good help for you because it's got courses of various time frames and uh, options for you guys in soc so please go through it you've got exercises in it register it i think um, it is for some money but yeah uh, an investment in learning is good as long as it's going to help you uh, this is what I explained with SOC. Uh, IoT is something which is actually coming in pretty good, okay? And uh, and people from electronics and communication engineering who are very good in coding, who can actually imagine or think about or understand uh, the, the electronic variations in various things are actually coming into IoT. So I'll give you a simple example. Uh, I hope you guys have heard about Alexa, right? Guys, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so I'm sorry that I just felt like I'm talking to a wall. That's all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 sure. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, so uh, Alexa is a very good example because what uh, what AWS Alexa is trying to do is that uh, they are trying to bring in all the devices in the home connected to Alexa. For example, if you have a micro, if you have a microwave oven, or if you have got a fridge, a smart fridge, uh, a smart TV, or if you if you've got uh, uh, any other device that can actually do your work in a simpler way, it can also be a coffee vending machine, right? All these are connected by use, using a chip inside. They've all got a chip inside. Even a printer, which is connected to your computer, has got a chip inside to process the job, correct? Because when you send the file, it's, it is stored in the cache memory of a printer and it is then kept in the queue uh, within itself to print it, correct? So all these devices or machines which we use every day in day-to-day -day life is made up of a chip. So it, it, it is indeed having inside, it, it has a processor inside itself. So to control all these processor, all these devices with a single internet connection can be accessed via Alexa. And they've gone to another extent where they've connected even the electronic bulbs, electric bulbs using electronic chips, uh, such that, for example, if the kid is at home or the kid, if, if they want to see if the kid is awake and if they have a camera here connected to internet, they have the ability to make Alexa evoke the lights inside the room and also to access the camera to check if the kids are safe uh, are they playing good and all those things so so the future stands here where vlsi with iot that is soc with iot is combined to create a huge job opportunity now what you have to do it i'm not too sure if you've got raspberries in the lab uh, uh sir uh, uh sir or uh, jay, jay sir uh, do we have raspberries in ra raspberry processors in our in our lab 
ओके 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 ओ अच्छा अच्छा ओके ओके दैट्स गुड दैट्स गुड एक्चुअली एक्चुअली दैट्स गुड बिकॉज़ इफ 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 देयर इज नॉट मच यूटिलिटी इन इलेक्ट्रिक ट्रिपल डिपार्टमेंट राइट एंड इफ इफ रास्पबेरी कैन बी यूज्ड इन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इन आवर ईसी डिपार्टमेंट इट विल बी रियली ग्रेट बिकॉज़ दैट इज वन गुड प्लेस फॉर अस टू सिमुलेट कनेक्शंस वी कैन स्टार्ट डूइंग इट वेरी सिंपली सी वी कैन ट्राई टू कनेक्ट अ लैपटॉप विद अ रास्पबेरी वी कैन ट्राई टू कनेक्ट वन फिलिप्स स्मार्ट बल्ब राइट विद विद रास्पबेरी इट विल बी एक्चुअली गुड फॉर यू गाइस टू स्टार्ट in a very you know uh, preliminary uh, stuff in fact we can have connecting to iot and stuff as a part of vlsc lab of course that is completely the department's choice but yes that is the future so if if you guys actually want to look into iot soc vlsi yes start working from now you've got one year of time prepare focus and hit 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 hard and uh, my request would be to 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 not go for too much certification courses because uh, i understand a certificate from a very you know authorized uh, company or 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 or, or, or e learning path would be of very much value to you but all that matters is what you know and what you understand so try to go for the knowledge once you have a good knowledge and once you can understand the whole engineering stuff or the device stuff yes you will have a good shot in any good company yeah so this is the general stuff uh, the wireless networks uh, telecom i know you've got cisco doing it in a very uh, very large way i know certification like ccna uh, are all available for uh, for people to focus on wireless networks telecom infra in fact uh, it is one of the core industries in it uh, who are uh, you know you can't remove them from a company just like that because uh, the the it infra or the wireless networks team who are work right they are always a fixed bunch see their recru- recruitment to them is always fixed uh, it will be pretty less than compared to a normal it engineer so they call this field as it is uh, that is in- information technology infrastructures uh, in fact in my batch we we had around uh, Mm, 40 people or 30 people going early in november uh, for training uh, to 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 tc zambathur in chennai so iti is a very good area uh, the salary is good yes yeah the, the biggest advantage is it is a part of our core paper so uh, the ccn paper you've got uh, the various uh, you know papers like dsp all those will help you in it uh second uh, the, the third and the fourth are pcb designing you see these things to market for you but uh, these two have now become redundant in every other technology you work so it is so niche i would say but yeah they are also good so try to work in those areas try to get some exposure there so that uh, if you're looking for core industries yes you'll have to focus on plc and pcb designing now in pcb designing and plc also uh, my request would be to you guys look at simulation softwares uh, try to have you have a mini project done in it do it out of interest and not as a part of your ncgp credits or extra credits uh, look for something innovative in it Uh, try to create something of your own even if it is a failure even if it is a failure try to create something you will learn a lot uh, and and trust me guys uh, in engineering we all have this thought that if something doesn't work out for more than a month why should i even focus on it right but don't be don't, don't ever think so don't ever be uh, in that mindset because what really matters is even if you try something okay big time you try something you lose it no problem you would have learned a lot and and that learning will not be felt until you enter into the real world of course even then you are you are still a drop in the ocean but still you will still you will feel yourself to be a drop at least so so go for it and try these things in labs uh, i i'm not i'm not sure and i do not know how the culture in klu has changed now because we never had the labs for us uh, open on weekends or uh, post uh, normal college time if the labs are allowed for you to explore uh, simulate try and do something try it because it's it's actually going to help you in the real life labs are the places where you actually learn so go for the labs try hard do something crazy 
yeah i this i'm coming to uh, i know i know it's got a uh, you know a sarcastic uh, you know uh, pick in this uh, it is to show that despite being a ac core engineer right uh, most of us land up here it industry uh, yeah you can't neglect the reality because <laughs> the industry is one place where there is there is always a requirement and they recruit people so yeah so uh, whatever your seniors would have worked in any company you go right you will be working the same code trust me that's how that's how the industry works so uh, just just a small sarcastic humor yeah but so yeah the this uh, i want to discuss about this topic because uh, this is where even my company is focusing on uh, You, uh, i hope you would have heard about my company it's it's it's, a, it's blue under it's it's a pretty unique commercial company uh, it was previously called as jda it's now blue under uh, we are predominantly moving towards ai ml solutions in supply chain warehouse management logistics uh, and category you know retail management and all those stuff uh, in short i'll tell you what aml is okay i i i i really want someone to answer this can someone say what is artificial intelligence and what is machine learning of course the answer is there but i want someone to say it someone i want to see how much people have understood anyone please someone okay i'll explain so aml uh, okay in short a a yeah tell me someone someone's there yeah sir artificial intelligence the uh, software which enables the um, computers to work of its so uh, it's in sir and machine learning is an application of artificial intelligence uh, your voice is breaking uh, you said something about machine learning so machine learning is uh, the application okay, of okay 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 fine no, no you, you you were right about ai ml i'll expand it to you so that uh, i can you you are you're semi correct with the, with ml but i'll expand to you what ml is and i have a question to you what is your name i didn't get your name sorry oh satya satya uh, uh, so, have you have you uh, have you uh, you know do we have uh, artificial intelligence uh, paper in uh, minor electives in seventh semester or sixth sir uh, as of now we uh, up to fifth semester we didn't have sir okay. but in uh, six, uh, seventh and eighth we would be having sir oh we have aa paper right good 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 because we used to have it as minor electives in 2010 uh, sixth semester in my sixth semester i had it as minor electives so is it a major or a minor elective now satya minor sir oh, it is still minor ah huh? okay 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 no problem see uh, so okay i will tell you what exactly aml is thank you for uh, giving me the answer satya but i'll tell you in expansion what aml is for example uh, i want to brew a coffee so what i'll do i'll open the coffee maker put in the powder i'll pour water uh, switch it on it will heat once the water is hot it will pour down over the coffee powder uh, once the water res- uh, settles on the powder and it comes out as a residue with uh, the coffee engraved in it we get a uh, hot steaming coffee right on the pot so that is basically what i do as, as a human correct now imagine if i create an algorithm to brew a coffee you get it so uh, when you create an algorithm for a machine to brew a coffee it will have a a clear co- but there can be a problem what if there is a low voltage or what if uh, the water uh, you know which falls over the coffee it is it is stuck because of uh, salt sedimentation in the water so there are various cases when uh, the brewing of coffee may not work correct so what happens is that uh, the machine starts to understand uh, 
observe and tries to create earned structure using ai you get it satya yes sir yeah it means yes sir yeah it means it means it will learn it will learn every day okay so this i have done today it worked perfectly fine so it will start it will start accumulating data okay now now this is artificial intelligence this is an algorithm it is a pure algorithm that will try to create what uh, is the smartest way to get the solution using its own logic and reasoning now machine learning is something that supports ai what is machine learning machine learning is for example uh, i create or i okay okay simple i see a receipt in the receipt i see four things the date when the receipt came the gstn number if it's commercial then i'll see the price and uh, the area or i don't know maybe the 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 area of purchase or or the place from where uh, it was booked or something will be there in the receipt let's say for oyo rooms okay now this oyo room receipt manually i'll be looking into it and i'll be giving in correct but when you look at ai ml the artificial intelligence will start to look into where those four fields are and for companies which have a standard receipt like oyo uh, swiggy um, uh, or any other apps or any other com- any other commercial organization you use it will be in a fixed place correct so the artificial intelligence will start collecting data then it will feed it to the database now the same machine will start learning it in a continued process now when the machine starts scanning the receipts of at least 10000 receipts right what would have happened can you guess satya sir take a guess i i don't care even if it's wrong i'll be happy if you can answer satya hello yeah can you hear me sir oh yeah yeah i can hear you okay okay fine okay so basically what happens is that the artificial intelligence will start teaching the machine to work by itself so when a, a new scenario comes the artificial intelligence will start re- reasoning it with its own logic it will try to find what has gone wrong or what is new in the scenario and it will learn it and learn it and it will make the machine to practice and understand that there is a scenario like this and it will say watch out for the scenario and go for it so that is a now you might ask the next next question okay if 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 i am an algorithm right and what is a machine when it comes to a software for example if i up- upload a, a pdf which is scanned and if i'm going to if i'm going to get some data out of that scanned pdf right what is a machine here a computer is already a machine right that will be your question now that's where we have the robotic process automation we will have softbots okay which uh, will actually look into the machine start collecting data it will try uh, someone's audio is uh, on i believe i think there is a lot of noise in it can you please mute the audio yeah yeah uh w- w- one second sir one second yeah so the point is that when we have aml right when we try to focus on aml it creates a beautiful uh, robot by itself which can control the complete process without any disturbance so it will try to make the machine a better machine so an entirely artificial intelligence with a machine paired is the deadly combination so guys uh, 
how many of you here are actually looking for uh, an aml career career like someone someone's got an idea to go for aml yes sir i am interested in the ai domain good 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 that's so so i my my uh, my request to you would be to go for you know automation anywhere uh, or uh, rpa any any related or you know any related uh, rpa tools you can start working on them because machine learning is basically based of softbots and softbots they are uh, predominantly created by companies like automation anywhere ui path and those things you get it Yes, sir. Sir, one doubt, yeah. sir. Yes, yes. Sir, please, can please, I have please. better? I can take that RPA or Python. Sir, someone suggested me to take a Python. Correct. See, uh, RPA. See, Python is a very good scripting skill. First of all, I'll come to it in the end for IT. Yeah, but Python is a great skill which you should learn. Okay, never even think you should not learn Python. Uh, you, if you if you learn Java, Python is not a big deal. But yeah, uh, Python can also be learned independent of any other uh, without learning any other language also. go for python uh, python will help you a lot in uh, big data and stuff it is very good data science okay yeah this will help you in data science you get my point oh yeah sir what i'm trying to say is python is the basic coding for data science data science is the basic for machine learning and artificial intelligence get it <coughs> sorry oh yeah sir okay sir so rpa is something that uses the data science okay that gets input from it and starts implementing it in the solution so it is better to learn python plus rpa okay, get the sir. point see it's, it's like saying, oh, yeah, sir, okay, sir. it's like saying i know oracle because it's a database okay but let's say if you learn java you can use database to do to to create web pages correct jsp plus java correct in that way so go for rpa plus python it's a deadly okay, combination it's a deadly combination okay yeah okay so thank you sir thinking for it please go for it and you've got a lot of online certifications in uh, i think one give me a minute i think you have uh, i'll just google it for you uh, uh, automation anywhere is very good they are leaders in uh, uh, you know a leaders in uh, aml uh, for this for creating all rpa stuff uh, then you have the uh, ui path correct so all these are very good try them these two will actually help you okay okay sir thank yeah. you sir yeah so uh, this is one big big area which is coming up well so please focus people yeah you have got one year ahead of you go for it ha huh. next is something which uh, of course you know i had a lot of interest i even went to amrita university during my third year for robotics workshop uh, along with then topper nagarajan but of course i couldn't focus on robotics and drones ha huh. but coming to the point uh, robotics is is one place where uh, beyond electronics you have to focus on mechatronics okay it is not something which only an electronics guy can do of course you can procure stuff and do it but <coughs> when you are in the part of when you are in the idea of designing something right then you will have to focus more on uh, uh, mechatronics also above all coding you will have to be a master in c coding you will have to be a master in java in any one ja coding even can be python you can be you should be master net only if you've got the mastery over a uh, particular coding you can go for robotics engineering and drones because uh, these two are highly precise and precision works uh, in a robo the weight the balance uh, the motion uh the way the, the 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 length of the strides if it's a robo uh, the length of the vehicle if it's going to be a robo with um you know uh, with tires or 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 chain mail so all these matter because you will have to focus more on configuring it because even if you are pretty bad on creating a robo right uh you can always do it do it make it better with your programs so please ensure that if you're going for robotics engineering and drones right you will have to spend a lot of money a lot of money and yes you will have to invest a lot of time on programming them testing them and once you've got a mini robot you will have to see what all can be done hope you're getting it and uh, 
um and do we do we have a robotics paper or something in in our in a company i mean in our in a college so we are having mechatronics paper actually ha so super super as an open elective uh, super paper. yeah I, i think it's given in uh, okay. handled by e and i uh-huh. department e and i ah mechanical yeah i got it got it. super super so you you get it in 7th uh, 7th semester 8th semester right so now sir uh, we had it in our 6th semester sir wow so it's three credit paper oh yes, good then good then good then so please go for mechatronics it is the basic so uh, uh, again again uh, yes you've got a lot of uh, robotic certifications available uh, once you try to learn something go for it again do not rush into a certification just because you want to have one but it's good to have it in a cv i'll i know that uh, and in this scenario it is very good to have a certification but learn well before you go for a certification and please uh, focus more on the paper i think maybe i, I thought 7th and 8th would be the paper, uh, time where you would have you would have had you have these papers but i think i'm a bit late in 7th semester to tell you guys but yeah focus on these ha huh. okay this is something which again is my uh, you know my current job yes we are implementing all our applications in cloud i need someone please to tell me what is cloud and what is what is not cloud can someone tell me how does a where virtual area where we can save the data no okay so uh, it's everything see you can do anything and everything so for example uh, in tifa ko tifa ko building right in in our own campus you will have server rooms correct you will have huge server room have you seen it Have you seen it, guys? Okay, I, I assume you have seen it at least in these three years. Yeah. So uh, in those server rooms, you will have huge devices, right? That will try to uh, uh, that will try to manage the whole uh, the IT network of the the campus, the website, and everything, right? So. cloud literally replace these physical devices cloud ensure it is a virtual space somewhere but highly efficient in installing uh, maintaining it load balancing which is the most critical thing in a server uh, load balancing is nothing but uh, okay i'll tell you what load balancing is imagine imagine uh, you are uh, driving a you are driving a car okay your engine is bust your engine is gone there is some problem imagine there is uh, another engine parallel to the same car uh, which 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 is is parallel to the engine which can run instead of this engine when it goes down that's how cloud that's how uh, load balancing works and cloud with its virtual uh, uh, designing and virtual presence has made load balancing uh, a state of the art and two guys of course aws amazon web services and microsoft azure are the top in the world aws is the biggest of course microsoft azure is big but yeah it is the amazon aws is the biggest uh guys you've got a lot of in house certifications in cloud uh, cloud security cloud maintenance all these come under ec score also and there is a lot of scope for us uh i want you guys to go for a lot of online youtube videos in this you have sessions for azure and aws please get certified if you have nothing in your mind if you have no idea of whatever it is about at least go for cloud you get it okay fine yeah so sure. um ha huh, okay this is something which um, which i want which i discussed you initially itself with aml but this is uh, also the future uh, because people now are going for masters not in computer science engineering or not in electronics or not in something specific to a core engineering they're going for data sciences and with this covid coming into play a lot of universities in us are going for online certificates now Uh, how many of them actually give you uh, a great experience of learning 
I'm not sure because uh, they have a very different way of teaching classes. The whole mindset is different. So uh, I'm not too sure how things will work out. But there's a lot of opportunities here in India to even learn it properly. So data science in short is very simple. For more than, um, I'll give you an example. Okay, for more than 40, 50 years, Walmart has the physical data in papers. Okay. they took the pain in converting all the physical data to soft copy get it when they converted it into soft copy and they, when they started to analyze the data they couldn't do it manually and they gave it to big companies like tcs to analyze and tcs to had little algorithms when they started to analyze it in a very different way and when they started to project the results or some pattern seen in every year they found out that data science is something huge and again i am not trying to say these companies invented or discovered it i was giving you a similar scenario where it happened so i'll give you an example okay uh, so that you guys can understand how data science works in tamil nadu and in uh, karnataka andhra we have makara sankranti that is pongal correct so pongal is one time where there is a huge demand for jaggery sugarcane uh the rice the raw rice which we buy and turmeric uh, you know turmeric plants and turmeric roots correct so all these come into huge demand correct now how do you how do we normally go for a stock every year we think about the previous year sales correct now we'll say okay last year uh, in my area this much happened so i should order this much the orders for every year will start pretty early correct they will they'll start ordering before 3 4 months correct this is how humans used to think now there can be some factors which can affect the supply that is drought can be there the sugar cane might not uh, have the uh, the yield for farmers or there can be overstocking because the rain was so good that year the harvest was so good that there is so much sugar cane coming in uh, then there can be a problem where uh, some uh, some some jaggery factories can be closed because Uh, the government found some irregularity so we'll never know the factors that will affect a supply chain or something that is going to happen over a period of time correct data science with uh, along with artificial intelligence will start to work in a way in which it will predict exactly what would be the supply and demand in a particular area for example if i am going to a place like coimbatore um, Coimbatore, which has significant Malayali population, will uh, the 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 program will say that okay, this is a significant Malayali population is there, so they will not this much will not buy sugar cane. They will buy something else that can be some malad or some 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 uh, you know some 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 sweet dishes they make. So they will say in Coimbatore stock this more. even a human would know it but the exact amount of uh, buying frequency can be found by the overall years in which it was bought it the number of people who bought it everything will come into picture and most importantly uh, the weather national holiday national holidays uh, government regulations uh, tax rents everything will be added as a factor and uh, even the inventory maintenance cost will also be added into the whole list of factors and the program will try to give you the exact amount of uh, food or the raw material to be stocked that is what data science is doing that is why companies who are aml with data science are rocketing out my company is doing great job by the way blue yonder yeah so we are predominantly into this supply chain i mean i just gave an example because i know it better but yes data science analytics with aml is making it deadly my request to you guys is to start learning some db skills because this is more to do with tables the rate source you can analyze data you can start doing programming in excel i know you guys will have latest uh, you know some hacked uh, microsoft 365 or something in your uh, in your corrupted me some 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 you know black version start using it but my favorite here my favorite here honestly for any analytics is tableau 
guys go for tableau tableau is free if i'm not wrong it's open source uh, and you can definitely try to have a lot of experience learning tableau go for a certifications one to one as, as usual once you learn a lot of tableau tableau is again a great place uh, to low to know to learn and to go for jobs data science is the future yes along with aml it's a future so go for it okay these two uh, of course you may have heard about it blockchain virtual augmented reality the reason why i'm not speaking much about virtual and augmented reality engineering is because uh, the initial cost for this uh, even after uh, you know researching working on it and investing uh, or or a guy buying this is very costly okay uh, in my uh, in my in my mba we went for uh, uh, an international immersion in london where i had the opportunity to work on so much virtual uh, augmented products they're awesome they're so good i literally was um, uh, you know in my in my mind and all the years i i just was pushed into a thin air uh, i could see the whole refinery standing in in mid air okay I, i could sit down on my floor and look close enough to see even the sand's dust or the size of the sand particles that is the level of uh, you know uh, reality which is being projected in uh, those products highly expensive a great field but i am not too sure how many companies in india have started doing it that is something which you know it's a pretty high investment industry second is blockchain uh, before a couple of years blockchain was crazy okay 2018 was very crazy and that this cryptocurrency and stuff brought in a lot of attraction to blockchain but the problem was that the government is not supporting blockchain that is cryptocurrency here in india so blockchain lost its sheen but yes uh in in some countries it is doing good not here yet we might it might take some time but what blockchain actually does it it creates a beautiful data protection security and it tries to make life better it's a great technology to work it's a very good technology in fact uh it is somewhat similar to what we would have we would have learned in data structures but blockchain is again a beautiful place to grow it is it can be it can be called the future's future but how much it's going to grow the way in which it's going to be applied because it's pretty complex so go for these two only if you you really find job market expanding so much here in india and you've got good people teaching you because the rest all skills which i spoke they all have a very good bandwidth but these two you have to check then go for it because everyone wants to say they are a blockchain expert but you will never know the real expertise because it has not yet been brought into a particular technological field inside institutions if i'm not wrong so check that okay yeah the la- last but not least this is the um, the live pulse of current it industry the first thing which i have spoken here is core java spring boot microservices angular js react js yes this is called the full stack this is the most sought out uh, skill in today's it industry now those guys uh, who really want only it and not any of those which i have told you of course some are repeated here but yeah those only in it you should go for these skills hadoop it for big data rp which i told you for robotic process automation oracle sql which is the basic for data science uh, automation testing all these pega people soft etl these things are the one which which are crazy in today's market now how i know this is because before 6 7 months i was in a company where we were completely dealing with uh, doing projects for top banks top banks in the world we were dealing with names like scb deutsche um, your hsbc and stuff um city so we know the craze in which the financial institutions are going towards these technologies so guys whatever you see here is still worth so whatever whatever is here even if you learned one thing 
properly you get a easy job but yeah the problem is you may not get a great salary but the start will be tough but down the line it'll it's going to differ okay i don't know how many people are really going for public sector but let me tell you guys openly from the bottom of my heart I want a life where yes you do something meaningful and and please don't think just because you're in a private sector you you do a lot of great stuff nothing you just do the same same stupid work which you do in a public sector company so if ever you guys are are thinking to go for public sector please go for get seriously do not sacrifice your gate exam preparation for anything if you believe public sector is going to help you and for any of these sectors your core papers core subjects have to be masterized i'm not joking it is indeed very important i'll i'll give you a small trivia when i wrote uh, gate in feb 2011 despite my placements i got 69 percentile topper got 2 percentile less than me the problem is we don't think gate as something bigger we look at cgpa we, we are very crazy about cgpa we hit our heads on cgpa but we lose a lot on basics the reason why i stressed on the very first slide about core engineering concepts is because trust me guys public sector has got a lot to do with core engineering being redundant even after 8 9 years in a public sector you can go to a private sector but from private to come into public sector is tough so guys if you are actually interested do proper engineering even a redundant job in engineering but a pure engineering go for all these and gate is something which is predominantly used in all public sectors yes they all have their individual exams also but please go for public sector they are the life they are actually a great life to live uh, in fact if you ask me i would ask even second years to start from day one to go for this i'll share ppt to professors they can always share it to them uh, next is okay this used to be my dream but i never went for it upsc for engineering services now it is it is yes you can always go for group 1 group 2 also you can always i mean tns tnstc or in any other state uh, groups you can go for upsc the the ias cadres the aps cadres also but yeah trust me guys engineering service exam is not just something which is tough to crack it is one of the most tough to crack because you've got a lot of papers i think you got four papers for easy by two rounds paper on paper to first round second round paper on paper to then interview it is very tough to crack but if ever you have the bandwidth to study even after one year of your college until the age of 28 or 30 right uh, the age variation differs for uh, categories general category obc and stuff go for it please please prepare hard if you're going for upsc the life after you clear upsc engineering services is alag level it's 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 it's, it's in tamil that's it's where level it's, it's so good you actually do proper engineering work you are respected so much yes you can be anywhere in india you get very good mark you get posting in tamil nadu but yeah in in your native places also but yeah it's it's a very good avenue and place to actually explore i beg you guys to prepare good and hit upsc trust me uh, if you create a culture where the senior guides the next batches in creating good leaders uh, and indian government and government is having a lot of opportunities we are so dumb in in south india we are so dumb that we always imagine only it industry i do a private sector we'll even go for a 8000 rupee salary but we will not take the pain to study one and a half years for upsc upsc engineering services or any other private sector any other public sector exams that's a stupidity and when people ask about higher studies the, we blindly think about ms people from andhra and tamil nadu do not know anything beyond ms after engineering so please guys this is something which i want you guys to focus this time if you go to if you go to north india people don't even think about higher studies yes if they go for it they go for iits they won't even go out of india and they are so good that they live out cracking these exams and they devoted guys please go for upsc it's, it's my humble request yeah 
I please any questions. I love to love to answer you answer your questions, but I would love to see hands being raised. That'll be really great. Yeah, please any questions. Guys, any questions? Sir, uh, sir, is there any uh, like workshop or uh, any other thing for learning the robotics, sir? Okay, see, uh, robotics basically you should look for campuses like uh, PSG, uh, Amrita University, uh, Kung Kung Kumaraguru. Kungu Engineering College, you are not in Kungu. Kumaraguru Engineering College. Then, uh, of course, Anaya University is very good. Uh, um, one more college, I forgot. Shastra. See, these four colleges, right? They have got a lot to do in mechatronics. Okay, they invest a lot of money in mechatronics. So, you go for these colleges. Uh, try to find if workshops are available because you guys browse for workshops, right? You you have credits for it, correct? Yeah. So, uh, where do you you guys check for workshops happening around? I forgot, man. I I used to see a website. Yes, sir. Ha, huh, of course, man. NIT, NIT, is, NIT is the greatest place you can do. But yeah, NITs and IITs, they don't always give you workshops, right? That's my point. You you get one workshop for robotics per year in NIT or IIT, maximum two. That's all. But look at colleges like Kumaraguru, PSG, Amrita. uh karunya i'm not sure but shastra is good i heard and i was t yeah see places am i yeah you can go for it thing is that go for a three day workshop not a one day workshop one day workshops are useless useless we went myself the topper nagarajan then one two more guys nachapan madan we went to we went for amrita amrita university's robotic workshop it was very good we were given a kit Of course, we got certificates and uh, non-CGP credits, but yeah, uh, it was very good for us. Uh, we learned at least a, at least something about programming and stuff, and uh, you know, and, and these guys mostly they come from IITs. You know, these these guys who do the workshop, so they've got a lot of stuff. Uh, they teach you a lot about robotics. They make you understand what is basically needed for being a robotics engineer. Uh, and whatever you see in movies is all bullshit and crap. So, uh, if if you really want to have something really good. Uh, Go for those workshops. Yeah. Any, any other question, sir? Uh, so, is there any courses? Is there any courses, sir? See, I, I'll be honest here. Office? See, I'll be honest here. See, any course out there is commercial. Okay. Uh, education is commercial now. Any course out there is commercial. I cannot guarantee any any course which is purely going to give you an academic perspective. And please understand something: the real knowledge is never taught. Real knowledge is something which you learn by yourself. Whatever you is taught to you is basics. Uh, yes, you've got courses in online, but again, the ratings even there, nothing is nothing can be. Firmly told, you get what I'm trying to say. Check with people. Uh, see whoever has. Okay, I'll give you a simple example. I'll, 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 it's very simple. I forgot to tell you guys. Guys, if you guys want to do something particular in yeah, ECE, right? Choose those companies that are good in that field. Let's say for robotics, if you have some companies, choose that company. When you choose that company, go to LinkedIn, see who are the employees there, get their details. Okay. Once you get their details, you ask them where you had an opportunity to learn, where they learned the stuff. so when they give you an idea of where they still learn because any industry in india is a continuous learning process no one in india stops learning so ask them where they got it what they are doing what is the current trend they will help you more see you cannot trust the google or anyone individual like me to ask you which is better no i i can tell you about my mba because i've done it you ask me about uh, i'm about my uh, my work where i'm doing customer engagement i can tell you but if you ask me for any technology i can't guarantee it i can say some are good brands if if arm gives you a course in uh, um, soc or uh, embedded systems go for it because arm is a leader intel gives you go for it it's a leader cisco gives you networking it's a leader but other courses or on robotics and all we do not know and 
not every industry and again i'll tell you not every company will have the learning and development department strong with its own uh, you know uh, teachings or online courses no it will have minimum it will have minimal you will have to focus more you will have to check with people in linkedin see what they are doing currently where they fi- they find something good happening that's how you should do thank you sir yeah yeah please any any, any other questions guys guys please open up ask questions trust me without questions without asking anything you can't learn much please 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 ask sir jay prakash sir uh, padraj sir uh, yes sir yeah, yeah sir uh, so uh, people have questions sir more to ask yeah any queries uh shiram i think uh, they don't have any other questions for the sir sure sir sure sir sir i'll i'll share the ppt uh, to you yes uh the okay. my link my linkedin account is there in the first first slide itself people if they want to ask any doubts 